So the question is, if you're in the market for a mower and you can't afford much, what type of mower should you get? Should you get a zero turn or riding lawnmower? New, used, what should you get? I can't answer that, but I can say, I think this is a great mower to get. So the Husqvarna YTH series, especially the ones with the 46 inch deck, I really like them. I have the most experience with them. The 48s may also be really good. I just really like these Husqvarna's with the foot operated transmission. That hydrostatic just works really well. In my experience, it'll hold up to quite a bit of abuse. I know it's used in other mowers, so in reality, there's some Craftsman's that are pretty much the same thing as this Husqvarna, but you can't go wrong with orange paint. So this one right here has, I don't know if you can read it, it has 234 hours on there. And let's see how she starts up. probably actually didn't even need the choke. My family had a YTH 20K46 or yeah, I think a 20K46. And we put probably four or 500 hours on it. That 20 horse Kohler did a great job. It did not have the issues that some of those Kohler courages have where like a bolt comes out and catches the flywheel and cracks the block, all that stuff. Didn't have those issues. It was just a strong little mower. This one has a 22 horse Briggs V twin. And that, that engine has a little more power. It's a, it's a good mower. These decks do have a common issue where the deck mount will break. This one has been re-welded as you can see. It's not a super hard fix if you have a welder or know someone who does. I would not shy, shy away from the deck for that reason, unless you don't have access, obviously. These 46 inch decks, they'll take quite a bit of abuse. They'll leave a pretty decent cut, especially with good blades. I know everything cuts better with good blades, right? I like this mower. It's pretty simple. It's decently fast, not super fast. I think it's like five and a half miles an hour, but you can, in good condition, probably cut going top speed. They're just durable. Obviously, different engines will be different for different people. If you prefer a Briggs, then get a Briggs. If you prefer the Kohler, get a Kohler. You have choices. There's, they've made several iterations of this model, all roughly the same. And uh, the steering seems to hold up pretty good with the double steering arm configuration doesn't have some of the issues that some of the older type of mowers did. I think this is way better than the CVT transmissions or the 7, 8, 10 speed transmissions that is used in a lot of other brands. Um, actually, Craftsman use them sometimes. I do not like those transmissions. You have to stop, put the mower in neutral to go backward, to shift from forward to reverse. Even though you do have a foot pedal on those mowers, the foot pedal only gives you it's kind of like the gas pedal in a car. It's your go pedal. You have to select forward or reverse. And that just takes time and it's a pain to do that because you're supposed to like hit the brake, hit the clutch pedal, then put it in neutral, put in reverse, you know, then release the clutch, then pin forward or whatever. Some of them were the, the foot pedal CVT, some of them were the lever up here where the throttle is on these where you could select the speed. Guys, I don't like those. I think they are a pain to mow with if you have to go back and forth or anything like that. But if you can't afford a zero turn, I think this is the next best thing. The foot operated hydrostatic transmission. So you go forward, backwards, just like that. No clutching, nothing like that. And you can turn the key to this spot right here, which is the reverse override safety. So you don't have to um, turn off your blade deck when you're going backwards. Nice little feature. A lot of mowers have that. Not all mowers do. Some zero turns are could benefit from something like that. I know if you know what you're doing with the wiring, you can modify all that. But just out of the box, these are great little mowers. So if you can't afford a new mower, you can probably pick up one of these for maybe $700 or less. You might be able to get one for like three or $400. It just depends. I have pulled large loads with these mowers. I have pulled them till they break traction and just kept reversing, going backwards and forwards, rocking it. You know, probably one of the worst things you can do for a mower, rocking it back and forth, um, trying to get more traction but because it is a limited amount of traction on here, I think it's kind of hard to tear up these transmissions. I know they will go out eventually, but if you keep the fan blades intact, keep them clean, these things will last you a long time. I think this is a very viable option. If you can't afford a zero turn, if you can't afford a new mower, stay away from the seven, eight, nine speed ones, 10 speed ones, whatever, I don't think there was a nine, um, with the shifters on the lever or the ones that have the four neutral reverse here. Stay away from all that. And also, of course, just a regular gear transmission. I would stay away from those. And don't get fooled into a mower having a pedal. Don't get fooled into thinking that they're all the same. They're not. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching Garage Joy. 
Stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one. Keep making stories. <laughs>